Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's episode. I am sitting in my car, if you can't tell, uh, and I'm waiting right now to meet with the person who is the uh, executor of an estate. Um, sadly, someone has passed. So that's usually when I get called is because the, the place that the stuff is in has to be sold. They don't want it. And so uh, we come make an offer and clean it up. Um, this one is a little bit different because it's, uh, in our downtown and it's in sort of a high rise condominium. I've not done a clear out in a, uh, condo before. So this ought to be something different, but, uh, in moments, in minutes, I'm going to meet up and, uh, we're going to see if we can strike a deal. Now, uh, it, there's a bunch of stuff apparently in the condo and there's also a couple vehicles, um, and that's what got me excited. One is there's a Ford Escape and the other is there's a Mazda Miata. Have no idea what the condition is or whether they run or what the story is with them, but um, it could make for an exciting adventure because those old Miatas are actually getting pretty collectible. But um, we'll see if we can strike this deal. If so, I'll get the keys and we'll carry on with this video. <laughs> uh, so here we go, guys, another cleared adventure. Let's get to it. Okay guys, I am working my way down into a parkade where I'm told that there is a Miata. Oh, by the way, uh, how do we get out there? Okay guys, we struck a deal for the vehicle. It's down in this parkade somewhere. Okay, it's back over on this side. I've got the, the building manager kind of helping. To, okay, there we go. I see it. I see the tarp. And I did bring a, there's a very Miata shaped, hang on, I gotta put this camera down. There we go. I, I brought a battery with me in case it doesn't start, but let's, uh, let's pull this cover off and see what we're looking at. It is, oh, it's yellow. It's sunburst yellow. Um, little bit of dirt on there, but no rust. And it has a hard top. It's not body color, but looks like a couple little scuffs here, but really not bad at all. The 92 was the only year that they made sunburst yellow Miatas. Um, I don't know if this car is gonna start, so. Let me get the car cover completely off. And I've got the keys in my pocket here. Let's see if we can make this thing go. Oh, I got the keys right here. One of these should be, that's for the Ford, that's for the Miata, okay. All right. Gosh, hope this key even, no, that's not the Miata key. That one is. Okay, doors open. Here comes the big test. How many miles? 47,000 kilometers. That's not bad, actually. It's in really nice shape on the inside. Even smells good in here. Okay, Miata key. Make sure it's in neutral. Battery is dead. <laughs> okay, that's all right. I brought a battery. Gosh, this looks like it's a factory uh, yellow car which is great. They only made, uh, like I said, 1,500 of these things, roughly. Okay, I bought a brand new battery yesterday because uh, they told me that they didn't know if it would start. Um, oh, you know what? It's not gonna start with the battery terminal off, is it? 
Hang on. Let's try this again. Gosh, that fan is noisy down here. Except I don't, oh no, I got an interior light on now. See that down there? I didn't have that before. Okay, let's give this a try. Round number two. Hey, little Miata, show me what you got. Oh. Whoa! Success! And just make sure to take my foot slowly off the clutch. Okay. But the lady uh, left. The apartment manager lady left because she thought it would take me about a half hour to get the battery in. So hopefully I can find a way to get out of here. All right. I am in a running 1992 Miata. It's a little dusty in here. Let's see if the headlights work. Oh, there they go. Pop up headlights. Okay, let's give this a go. Oh my gosh, you guys. I had this Mr. Bean experience getting this car out. I didn't, the fob for the parkade garage door wasn't working, so I had to go push the button, go down to the car, drive it, drive it up, and then <laughs> the door would close. But I got it out. But look at that. It's actually in really nice, possibly original paint. It definitely needs a good cleaning. But it, uh, it's just as cute as a button. Uh, get this car home and uh, come check out the suite with the, uh, well, the house contents are. I haven't even gotten inside of the building to see the contents yet. And already I've got a stellar find. A 1992 factory yellow, scarce color, uh, Mazda Miata, NA generation, first gen. And it's running like a champ. It's running like a brand new little car. What a great little vehicle. And truthfully, these are one of the most collectible Mazda Miatas that there are. Um, so <laughs> lucky me guys. Um, but there's another vehicle there too. Uh, I gotta get this one home and then we'll go see what else there is. Well, I'm happy to report that the car runs like brand new, basically. Let's have a look at the outside now that it's out in the light. Now it looked to me like this was somebody maybe had bumped into the car, but I think that might be discolored from that uh, car cover. I'm going to have to come out. Some of that is coming off. Like it's got this black sort of stuff all down the, the vehicle, but I'm fairly sure that a really good clean and a polish might get rid of that. I certainly won't be putting that car cover back on because it seems like it caused more damage, did more harm than it did good. But what we have here appears to be a factory yellow. Yeah, this has not been repainted. This is factory paint. Made in 1991, it says. This is a factory yellow car. Um, not a speck of rust. Uh, no dents. Just basically this discoloration on the paint, which uh, my kid Steven says he will detail this car for me because this is one of his favorite cars. The uh, tread on the tires is basically like brand new. It's got like a set of brand new Michelin tires on it. Even the factory Mazda decals are still on. So yeah, I think this is a really low mile, no rust, original Miata. Actually, hang on, I say that, no dent in it. Is that a crease or is that the way it's shaped? Oh, I guess that's the way it's shaped. Okay, yep, no dents. <laughs> All right, I gotta get myself back over to the, the apartment so we can check and see uh, what's inside the unit. Gosh, that looks pretty in the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that might be a tough one to get rid of. Okay, that's one vehicle moved. The reason I had to move that one first was because um, he didn't live in that building. He was just renting that stall. So now, <laughs> whew, I just barely made it back before the time ran out of my parking spot. Um, I have to go find the actual apartment building or condo complex that uh, this fellow lived in, go find the other vehicle, hope that that runs and transport it. So, uh, haven't even been inside yet, but I guess that's coming up soon. <laughs> Let's go check this vehicle out. Okay, I'm here I found the second building, and again, not ready to go up to the suite, but look, I found the vehicle. This is it, everything checks out. It's a 2007 Ford Escape, uh, which hasn't been moved in a while, but 
if it's anything like that in the add-on, hopefully it should just start right up. We shall see. I'm gonna find the keys. Okay. Oh, there's a Swiss Army knife in there. Boy, look how dusty that windshield is. This thing hasn't been moved in quite some time. Oh no, the battery's dead. Oh, or maybe disconnected. Uh, let's see. How do I pop the hood on this thing? Hopefully that was just his thing, is that he disconnected the batteries on the vehicles. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to get a boost down here. No, it is, uh, the battery's dead, so. Interior doesn't look bad. Again, body doesn't look overly rusty. Still has some dirt on it, but so I can't open the back door just yet. Some stuff in there too. Okay, well, since I can't do much about this right now, I'm gonna lock it back up. I'm gonna have to come back with my battery booster later on to get that thing moved. Unfortunately, can't do that today. But, I mean, it looks like a decent sellable vehicle again brand new tires doesn't look like there's any sort of rust on it whatsoever oh and it's got a tow package too okay well upstairs we go one of the elevators is down at the building the thing about elevator maintenance and here it has its ups and downs okay guys here's the big moment well, I can walk. It's not such a bad sign. Let's see. February 2023. You got a bullfighter poster right when you walk in. I have a feeling this one won't be so bad, won't be so full. Lots of clothing. Let's have a look around. Oh, bananas have seen better days. That's the thing when you end up uh, buying the contents of a property that's been sitting for a long time. You know, you got your last corn that was going to be eaten there. Hey, look. It's a model kit for the Miata. And actually, look at all of this. Okay, let me get an overview of the room first. So little table and chairs here. Couch, recliner. They said it was really bad, but this isn't like, when I think really bad, this isn't what I think. This isn't really bad. But uh, look, there's a HP computer sitting there. Okay, I better, I better just be good and focus in one area at a time. We have all sorts of collector airplanes. I see some Corgi die casts. Those were quite expensive when they were new. Lots of aviation kind of uh, stuff up at the top. A ton of cool uh, vintage books. It looks like um, this person probably collected uh, books. And if I'm lucky, maybe I'll see some really great titles in here. Uh, some of these look like they go back quite a number of years. Lots of books and die casts, collectibles, bronze statues of hockey players. Oh, not bronze, but still. Oh, that's a that's a Franklin Mint car. That's what is that like a Delahaye or something? Oh, forty seven Bentley with the I should know. Geez, I used to be part of the Rolls Royce Club in here, but it's just so swoopy and airline airstream looking. There's another another little car right there. All sorts of cool stuff. There's some original watercolors, old skis. Nice. Uh, boy, there's a shopping cart up here. Full of books and frying pans. And they're Henkel frying pans. I got a whole wine rack full of wine. That looks like a nice vintage uh, bar or vintage style bar. And is it, uh, is it stocked? Well, there's some stuff in there, but there is bottles of wine. Okay. 
a little case with some collector plates in it. Queen sort of royal stuff. Christmas Village still set up. And we're we're in spring now, so. And we've got uh, more aircraft memorabilia, lots of books, airplanes. All right, I'm just sort of doing an overview right now. Look at all the movies, every kind of movie you could imagine. More collector airplanes and stuff. Look over, well, there's a giant TV. That couch is actually in really nice shape. That couch is pretty well perfect. That couch might be nice in uh, the new addition Melissa and I are building out at our place. I'll have to talk to her about it. More high-end die cast. All sorts of collectibles. Look, there's medals for sailing, like awards for sailing. It's nice to see such a large collection of collectibles here too. Actually, that's a beautiful soapstone sculpture right there. Carved out of green soapstone. It's quite big. It's probably about two feet, um, almost two feet tall. More little, oh, let's see what's, what's in the case. Hockey figures, a beanie baby for some reason. <laughs> Not that I haven't had enough of those lately. Miata diecast. Makes sense. That doesn't... That looks like it's an old uh, AMT. Yeah, that's a promotional car. That's a Studebaker promo car that they would have had at the dealer. can always tell. They always look a little bit different. Unfortunately, all this stuff is going to have to get moved and packed up. Well, I guess not, unfortunately. That's exactly what I'm here for, is for that to happen. Okay, we'll keep looking. This looks like it was the, the comfy chair, the, the chair that was sat in. But there is a lot of garbage. The stuff that needs to be picked up and shuffled around. Let's see what we have. Oh, look, there's tooth molds. And a Samsung phone. Is that a Le Creuset? Another multiple Le Creuset pots. Wow, those are really good. <laughs> Found one in the last place too, and that wasn't a very fancy property. But there's some nice high-end uh, pots and pans here. Le Creuset, of course, coming from, there's the box for it. That is uh, good, the best quality, really, made in France. Okay. Let's keep walking. There's a pantry full of food. Hopefully I can donate a lot of this stuff to the uh, food bank. There's gotta be a light in here somewhere. Where's the light switch? I don't know where the light switch is. I can see a light up there. I have no idea how to turn it on. But this looks like it's mainly food and pantry type stuff. And lots of garbage bags. Those will come in handy. Well, that's tea, but there's garbage bags and Ziploc up there. Uh, washer and dryer. Nice little apartment unit. I noticed that almost all the artwork in here is either signed prints, like limited prints. Let's see if I can zoom out. They're limited edition prints signed by the artist. Let's go down this way. Bathroom. Got a painting on the wall, sort of a beachy looking scene. And a whole bunch of uh, clothes and pillows stored in the bathtub. Okay, there we go, hall light. What's in this hallway? Sheets. Lots of sheets and cleaning supplies, paperwork. A big green box for something. Oh, there's the boxes for the airplanes. Those Corgi airplanes, the boxes are here. Thank goodness, that adds so much value to one of those things when you have it. These weren't cheap kits either, those mosquitoes. Oh, geez, I wonder if I sold it to this fellow. I used to sell this stuff, it's the Memphis Bell. 
So we've got some of the boxes for the collectibles, the boxes for the uh, Christmas stuff. Looks like there's uh, some sculptures in the closet here from Winners or Home Sense. Still neat though, bicycle riders. Okay, we've got a bedroom. Jerseys. Bayern Munich, so football jerseys. And what looks like a uh, Canadian Sea Cadet cap. Obviously a fan of wine. There's a bunch of uh, labels from different wineries and stuff stacked all around. Monet print. It's like a lot of commonalities between this and the last place. The last lady had Monet stuff as well. All right. And clearly a fun-loving kind of person because you've got your newer sort of Connor McDavid stuffed animals and <laughs> I guess I shouldn't say stuffed animals stuffed figurine so hockey fan maybe we'll find some hockey memorabilia in here too okay little thing of ribbon maybe oh it's a belt from Costco and we've got a Superman Pez dispenser sweaters i'll be able to get a lot of clothing to charity i'm sure but uh certainly want to check and make sure today is the day where i kind of just check and see what it is i got after today these sweaters are new there's still the tissue in between them hmm. after we kind of get a sense of what's here then we make a game plan of how to get rid of everything brand new shirt Wheels, sweaters. Okay. What I'm kind of curious to know is I see there's a Captain America um, canvas print. Hang on, I'll see if I can get to it. I do have to climb a little bit in this room. I mean, there's quantity, but there's... Oh, gosh. hope there's not a... There's paper, but I don't see a bird in there. Captain America, mad bomb. It can destroy the world. That's neat. But what that tells me, if this person that lived here was into um, superhero stuff, that maybe I'll find a box of comics or something. Who knows? It's inspiration for me to dig a little bit today. Let's see what there is. Nice leather jacket. Kenora Camping Corps. Lots of shirts. Oh, there's a there's a wooden oh. Let's see if I can get down on the floor here and kind of show you guys, but look, that's a uh that's a gramophone. That's a hand crank tabletop gramophone right there. It's even got some of the records on it. So, and there's another La Cruzette right there. I don't know if it's still in the box or if this box is being used for something else, but uh, if it's in there, that's gonna be great news. Something's in it, it's heavy. I can tell you guys that much. Let's find out. Oh, it's in there. Yeah, it's brand new. Oh my goodness, like, I might have to talk to my wife about this. These things are like five or $600 a piece. Um, so to have brand new Le Crozet items here, that's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy awesome. Oh, things that you get nervous finding in somebody's closet. <laughs> At least it's got a price tag on it. <laughs> well, that sent a shiver down my spine. <laughs> I probably screamed at such a high pitch just then. You, nobody heard it. But if your dog's barking, that was silently me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. There are also lots of brand new suits. Tommy Hilfiger, $400 suit, still with the tags on. Um, let's go over to the other side of the closet and see what there is. And I am actually, there is stuff mounted and piled. Oh, look. I was saying there's stuff mounted and piled all over, but we've got jerseys like, oh my gosh, there's jerseys, 49ers. Oh, it's a Kaepernick jersey. Oh, bro. 
dry saddle jerseys. I wonder if any of these are autographed. That would be pretty nice. We've got blue jeans. Gosh, there must be 50 or 60 jerseys in here alone. These things are not inexpensive. Jerseys, jerseys, jerseys everywhere. There's jerseys. Goodness me. Hangers. Fossil watch box. It's another little airplane. So obviously into aviation, into boating. Let's see if there's anything down in here. Socks and undies. Oh no, more, more sweaters. Or more jerseys maybe. Shorts and stuff. Okay, well I definitely have a lot of clothes to donate, which will be good. Oh, they're bobbleheads. Queen Elizabeth bobblehead. Let's see. President Lincoln bobblehead. Donald Trump bobblehead. <laughs> okay. I, I love a person who's got a sense of humor. FDR. So there are some collectibles in these drawers as well. Kind of cool. Going through this top drawer here, there's some watches. Um, that's just promotional watch from the Alberta legislature. I don't think there's anything too fancy about it, but you never know. Uh, there's a Seiko watch with its paperwork, missing the strap, a little barometer, some Spanish coins. But uh, yeah, this looks like where the uh, old watches went to die. There's a few of them in here. Star Wars Pez. Come to look inside the office. I can see up at the top, there's all these boxes for airplanes. And more than that, they're actually full. Those are all complete sets of little airplanes. Um, there's a Coca-Cola truck up there, which is super cool. I'll zoom in. Little Coke truck, see with the bottles. That's pretty neat. Um, there's some other little collectible trucks. There's a computer. Silver cup. I'm just looking at all the... At the top, you see up there, there are some uh, collectible Ertl tractors. And then there's a big Oliver tractor there which uh, I don't know what series that's from, but those look like the really high detailed ones. I, oh man, I may as well walk over there and see. Yeah, that's like, uh, I can't remember what the series was called, like Elite or something along those lines, where they're, you know, have a bunch of functioning parts on it and stuff. There's all sorts of neat stuff. Even the Ghetto Blaster is pretty cool. But again, kind of like the last place, windows are closed, blinds are drawn. Lots of nice antique books and stuff. I've come back out to the living room to kind of have a look because I didn't look in this lower cupboard. Some cookbooks, an atlas, a wooden box, which I hope isn't uh, family ashes or anything. Queen Elizabeth II, oh look! It is uh, silver coins. That's weird. There's one missing. Ten dollar. These are all. It's all. It's a big box of silver. Woohoo! <laughs> well, that is certainly a good find. Um, so beautiful presentation set in a box of silver coins. But I wonder if I'm going to find anything else like that. I guess I better keep looking. Pictures. There was another wooden box at the back there. Let's see if we can figure out what this is. There we go. Yep, here we go. That's a US silver dollar. Royal Canadian Mint. So there's randomly a US one in there, but we've got another big box of silver. And these are, is it double layered? Nope, but it's got its papers under there. 
Whoa, good find already. After doing sort of a bit of a walk through of the, the suite, I'm fairly confident that I'll get my investment back and still have profit left over. The total amount paid for this unit, um, including the two vehicles, was $12,000. Now, um, the fact that that Miata ran and is in such good condition, I'm hoping that my son can uh, detail it up for me. <laughs> um, but I'm that car alone should get my investment back. And then we also have a Ford Escape to sell. Uh, and finding the the silver uh, coins and all that, it's gonna make us. Uh, it's gonna make sense for us um, in the long run. But I am on my way back home because I got to grab a battery charger to charge the battery in the SUV that's there and get that out of the way. After all, that is my main goal today: is get those vehicles moved out of there. So uh, we'll grab the charger, head back, and hopefully that thing will start. Uh -huh. 